in a real street fight. Besides punches, a headlock is probably the single most common form of attack you would see used by an unskilled opponent. And although they aren't the most technical uh, submission holds out there, getting caught in one can be extremely demoralizing and painful uh, nonetheless. So we want to show you the quickest and most effective headlock escape that you could use. It's called the frame escape from the headlock. So Hito sneaks up, he gets me in a headlock, and he's squeezing from here. It's on the back of my neck, so it's not that dangerous, but it's painful nonetheless. Here's what I would do. So as you saw, first thing is as Hito approaches me in the headlock, during the confusion of the fight, unless you were asleep and he woke you up with the headlock, Chances are you saw the headlock coming before it happens. He side mounts you, he comes in, you see it happening. So what do you do? You turn sideways. Right now, my body is completely sideways and this elbow is tucked in. From here, my back hand crosses the border and I make the frame. I'm grabbing my wrist with the thumb here. Now, holding my frame fully extended so he can't lower his head, my foot on the ground is used to scoop my hips away two or three times. One. Two, now I start pushing his head back and my leg comes up and I over his neck. Once I catch his neck, I use my hands to adjust my body. I slide away from him so that the bony part of my knee lines up right under his chin on his arteries. And from here, my feet are crossed. I can hold this arm for control and extend my legs. Some people ask if there's an arm lock from here, and the answer is no, there is no arm lock. When you have this wrist, it's purely for escape prevention control, not to submit the person with his arm because my leg is not properly positioned. One more time, please. So once again, let's rotate slightly. Check it out. So from here, he don't has me in the headlock. Boom, my elbow's tucked in. Now, the true effectiveness of this move comes from, get back for a sec, the immediate frame entry. As he don't approaches, watch this. If I get the frame right away and I'm extending my arms with the blade on his neck, look how difficult it is for him to come down towards me. Now, using this foot here, I'm gonna put it on the ground and scoop my butt back a couple times. One, two, while pushing the frame down, I bring my top leg over the head and scissor his neck. Once I get his, leg, his neck to go down, I hold it with my legs and cross my feet. You can cross with either foot over the other, whatever feels more comfortable for you. I prefer to have the top leg back and now I hold this arm here and now with the bony part of my knees adjusted to the where they're right on the arteries here I cross my legs and I squeeze okay notice how when I hold Henry in the headlock where my legs are my feet are forward okay I don't want to be here holding anything backwards okay I face him I'm looking at him, my legs are forward. Like we're just chilling at the beach here talking on a Sunday afternoon. My arm comes around his neck, he makes the frame immediately. His frame is so good, it's so fast and strong that I'm barely even able to hold hands. That's a good sign. And when Henner scoots his hips away, go ahead. He scoots away and notice his legs. He doesn't only bring one leg over my head. He lifts his bottom leg up off the ground to be able to catch Good point. By bringing both legs, what Hito's saying is by bringing both legs, you have greater reach. If I just do this, I can only reach so high. But if I have my frame out and both legs come up, I can reach all the way around the world. And then I can chop his neck back down. And from here, the most important thing is adjustment. Move your body, wiggle around until one knee is behind his neck, the other knee is in front of his neck, your feet are crossed, you have his arm, and you scissor. Okay, so make sure you make those adjustments so that the neck is perfectly positioned underneath your thighs. Show it to you more. So check this angle. As soon as he don't approach it, sit up please. As soon as he approaches, I shoot it. One, arm frame is already in. Now I use my feet to scoot away. Both legs come up. I go over the neck. One common mistake is people allow this bottom leg to get stuck under his back. Look at my bottom leg over here. If this leg is on his neck and my bottom leg is under his back, it's no good. What do I do? I wiggle it out. So now my bottom leg is under his neck, not under his shoulders. With my feet crossed and his chin perfectly aligned, I lock it, I hold this, and I squeeze. Now, as you practice this, you might find that if your partner turns their chin or tucks their chin in, it's hard to finish the choke from here. For right now, I want this person to allow the choke to take place, let them practice the move, and 
in the next slice, I'm gonna teach you what to do when the scissor choke doesn't work. So for right now, we're doing the scissor choke. Part of the reason why Henner, he might get his leg under my back is because he does not scoot his hips out well enough. So when he hips out, hips out, that just makes it to where my neck falls right on his knee. When I'm getting choked right now, I'm not completely relaxed. I'm tightening my neck muscles to protect my throat. And the person in my position, don't bend over here too much and don't get up on your elbow. Lay down with your body completely teed out to your opponent, okay? Teed out right here. Not curled, not on your elbow. Stay back, cross your feet, and extend your legs. Like he don't say, tighten up your neck muscles on this one because man, the bony part of your knees chopping into their neck, they're gonna go in slow motion and they should go slowly, but uh, it's a nice little poke nonetheless. So we're practicing the scissor, scissor escape, the frame escape with a scissor finish to the headlock. Try this in slow motion. If you're alone on this one, let's just go through the motion one time. From your back, as they approach the headlock, we turn and our frame is extended so quickly. That's the beauty. By extending the frame so fast, you're practically defending and neutralizing the headlock, even before it's possible. From here, feet on the ground, a couple scoots. One, two. Push back on the neck, lift your legs up, bite the neck and chop it down. Now what? Slight adjustment, adjust, adjust, scissor, hold the arm and look at the squeeze. Extending your legs. Look how I'm squeezing here. It's extension that does it. It's not this. It's that. By extending your legs, chops the neck. Hold the arteries, help your partner out. And always give feedback. If it doesn't feel perfect, Tell them, adjust them. As you guys know, you are each other's instructors, so help each other out. And last but not least, anytime somebody has you in a headlock, when you are being caught in a headlock, tuck your chin in and protect your own neck because although it isn't a real submission, keeping your chin in can only help you keep a cool mind to do this move right. Perfect the standard variation of the frame escape and you'll be ready for the follow-up variations we have to show you.